Lou. Got some stories to tell. Now, these are regarding some of the UFO, UAP sightings I've seen over the, the last, really in my life. Um, I've seen some strange stuff that I can't explain um, over the course of my sky gazing and, you know, just throughout the course of time, you spend time outdoors um, and you start to see stuff. So just kind of running down the list of the ones I've seen, just for the record. Uh, 2005, um, and this one is strange. I, I would go up to a hill at night when I was in college looking for UFOs, and then sure enough, one night, you know, maybe that was like the CE5 connection. Like if you wanted to see something, it would appear, but um, basically it was a meteor that flew in and it stopped and it was blinking very bright. It was a bluish white color and it probably blinked 20 times. It was up in stationary position for about 45 seconds, no sound. It was flying from south to north, um, brighter than anything in the sky, brighter than like Venus. Um, it was not an aircraft. It didn't have any sound or motion of an aircraft. Planes don't stop to a complete standstill in the middle of the air. Um, so that was a very strange first encounter. I've seen one. Second time was in 2012. I was working in an office tower facing the mountains of Denver, um, what's known as the Red Rocks Park region. And I noticed what appeared to be a red orb flying low and fast over the horizon. And I've actually got a YouTube video of it. It's a little grainy. It was taken on my iPhone, but I would estimate the craft was probably 15 feet in diameter. It was a reddish colored ball, basically moving incredibly fast, darting around the uh, the ground and um, went over the, the mountaintops. And I got that on video and that was definitely a UFO. Third one I saw was a little weird. It was in 2018. I was helping a friend with a uh, car commercial. We were shooting some footage in a park and we were there with the full film crew, about 40 people. And I noticed this giant white disc just floating over the park. Um, and we pulled out our big cameras and zoomed in on it and got close ups of this thing. And it, had, it sat there for about 45 minutes in a stationary position. None of the film crew really could tell what it was. We saw some shapes underneath it. It had like a grid system. So some kind of craft floating there, but this thing must have been 900 feet to a thousand feet wide. I don't know how high up it was. It could have been 20,000 feet up, but this thing was just hovering there for, for almost an hour and balloons don't do that. Balloons can't stay in one single point. Eventually it did move further east after about the 45 minutes. That was the third confirmed one I saw. Now another one, I was coming back from the mountains. I was camping on Independence Pass and I was freezing, sleeping in the back of my truck. So it was about 3 a.m. I decided to come back home to the Colorado Springs region at the time. And um, it was about three in the morning, 3.30 to four in the morning, driving through South Park. And this one wasn't flying, but this one landed in the field, um, probably quarter mile off the road. It was a giant array of lights. I thought it was a stadium light. You know, sometimes you see like football stadiums. It reminded me of like my high school stadium lighting. So it was a row of six lights in four columns. Um, just bright as could be. I thought, it, you know, my first in inkling was, um, you know, this might be somebody hauling a stadium light through the field. And I'm looking at it, it's like, no, this is three in the morning out in the middle of nowhere. There's no access roads out here. So I pulled the vehicle over, turned the car around and it was gone. By the time I turned back around, um, that one was on the ground. I had eye contact with it for very brief, you know, probably 20 seconds, 15 seconds at most really, as I was driving, watching this thing on the field. Um, another one, this is a bizarre one I saw. I was running um, at dusk in February of 2020 in the Sloan's Lake area of Denver. Um, and I thought it was a flock of geese flying over because I saw this giant triangular shape going over the sky, um, you know, just where there's enough light out in the sky where it's that dark blue. But I saw this silver <laughs> boomerang shape flying pretty quickly and silently overhead, um, moving, going from east to west, right over the city. This thing must have been at least a mile wide, I would guess, and it was probably 30, 
thousand feet up or, you know, but at first I thought it was a giant flock of geese, but it was moving consistently. There were no, and it was silver um, and it was solid. It was a giant silver, like boomerang shape in like a giant triangular formation. But uh, that was a weird one. And that silently floated over the city. And that one weirded me out too, because it was trying to conceal itself on the cusp of darkness where it was trying to probably be invisible. I only saw it, it was a handful of people probably out that night. I, maybe another person saw it. Um, but that kind of creeped me out because it was like trying to camouflage itself. And then that got me wondering, like these things are trying to hide from us and they're, they're up there. What are they doing? We don't know. Um, it's a very crazy phenomenon, this UAP discussion. You know, the government, we have the data now. We have to admit that they're real. Are these military craft or these extraterrestrials? Either situation is unnerving. Um, if we have that advance of technology, we're being lied to about what energy systems we can use. I mean, if they're already using anti-gravity to propel these craft, we're basically living in the Stone Age in comparison to what the available technology really is. Or they're extraterrestrial and there's nothing we can do about it. And they seem to be friendly enough. They're not trying to destroy the planet, but at the same time too, we don't know what they're up to. Are they a threat is the other side of the, the equation. These uncontrollable, super intelligent beings are here observing us and there's nothing we can do about it. We can't defend ourselves from them, but I don't think they're here to hurt us. But anyway, those were... Um, the five sightings I've seen, and I, tr I do try to wonder what is this phenomenon? What are extraterrestrials? <laughs> One of my theories on it is like we might be extraterrestrials who have come to, to this planet and we're trying to train ourselves to experience something. I almost, you know, going through certain stressful situations in life. Um, for, you know, for example, I was going through a divorce and it, like I was just almost, it was almost comical how insane it was, how how much it could destroy your life on the drop of a dime. It'd be like a comedy for somebody watching it. A, a dark comedy, I guess. But one of my theories was maybe I decided to come here to witness this for like entertainment value because I'm like an extraterrestrial or my soul or spirit came here to observe a, a crazy situation. But uh, yeah, I don't know what these things are. They're out there. It does you have to wonder about it? You have to wonder what the reality of what this means is. So anyway, those are the five I've seen. Um, I don't like opening up and talking about it directly <laughs> to strangers or people because still it has that stigma of you're crazy. But I think we've all seen them. We all pretty much know they're real at this point. We just need to figure out what they are. Um, we need to get beyond the the ridicule or the the worry of what other people think about this topic. So if you've seen any, let me know. Um, just kind of curious what shapes they were, how they were moving. Cause I'm pretty sure I've seen, you know, the five I've mentioned, they seem to be a pretty popular, um, a lot of sightings with those shapes. So, okay, cool. That's, that's the story.